scorpios welcome back to the channel i hope that you guys are doing very very well all right so we're going to tap right into the next 24 hours for you i hope that everybody is doing well today um yeah all the information for me will be in the description box you guys so don't hesitate to look we do have two specials for them for this month um, that is running we have a 10 minute special for personals and then we have a 15 minute uh read-in for personal reads the 15 is 55 and the 10 minute is 45. all right so let's see what we have for you the next 24 hours what's the energy flow for the next 24 hours for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It's the energy flow, next 24. Boof, look at that already. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse and the Tower in reverse. Well, there's a going back energy, Scorps, within the next 24. This is a connection that broke or there was some kind of argument that took place here, some kind of disagreement as well, some kind of breakup or separation here within this Tower walking away kind of vibe i'm seeing like coming back i'm just seeing the reason why this happened is because there was no change there was empty promises made here so there was a breakup there was frustration within the situation or deciding to like walk away from this 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 foundation here because you weren't getting what you wanted the results that you wanted and i'm also seeing like they, the promises that they made, those promises didn't come to fruition, you know? It didn't come true. So they wasted your time. And I'm also getting that you have really put in a lot of energy within this situation. You have really... wanted things to work here you know i feel like you wanted to be really successful here within the situation but these but this energy that's coming through for the next 24 didn't give you a choice to do that wow look at this scorpio you have the sun in reverse you have the page of wands in reverse you have the five of wands in reverse so again, you know, trying to come back to something here. I feel like whatever this was that ended is trying to come back within your life. But this situation did not make you happy within the sun. This was very draining within your energy. And I'm also seeing like this five, this page of wands energy where this is going to be the same vibration that is coming in, the same energy that is coming in. The five of wands energy is again trying to come back and trying to resolve or trying to build or trying to compromise something here i feel like this person is realizing that whatever they have done they were in fear to you within this in energy there is a lot of competition a lot of other people having things to say about what have taken place here or what they believed okay need to need to happen here and this was this was something that you were trying to defend control but you feel like you couldn't be seen or you weren't believed i'm also seeing the hangman here sorry for the commercials you guys i am playing my meditation music to clear my mind in the space so let's see hermit energy 
is also coming in. I'm trying to... Wow, let me turn on this meditation. Okay. I feel like you had to walk away. Spiritually, you weren't getting it. You had to walk away to find that wisdom. There is an incompletion here. You have a lot of fives coming out. I'm seeing two already. Five of Pentacles in reverse as well. So you felt abandoned or you're alone here or this situation that you have ended just didn't give you enough stability. Didn't give you enough money. Didn't give you enough you know appreciation like oh my god you're going to be there for a long time or be in this in this vibration with this energy for a long time you felt like financially this wasn't working out so this is why you did what you did to get something more okay and i feel like this person or this foundation this could look like a job or some kind of inst institute that is coming back to you with more money to resolve this hardship that you have been facing okay i feel like this person or this situation has been watching you for a while and they're going to do this very slowly this is what i'm seeing here but you have to ask yourself that question is this going to make you happy i'm also seeing the seven of pentacles in the moon so there's going to be some investments here but your intuition is going to take hold as well like these folks are keeping secrets like they're still not like letting you in on certain things like you just feel like there's a wall here within pisces pisces is also coming out strong for those of you who are dealing with the pisces major arcana leo scorpio aries i'm also seeing virgo here Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Next 24 hours, I do see some form of information that is coming towards you. Some crown chakra activity. This is coming in very quickly. And it's like something about you. You're just waiting. Because I'm just getting like this waiting vibe. This like really like waiting vibe. Like he knew that this was going to happen or this was going to come back to you. This is what I'm seeing here. Like, you're pretty much over this, but you're not getting up and walking away. Like, I'm not seeing you doing that. You're not walking away here within the situation. You're just like, okay, tired. Want more for yourself. You don't know if you're interested anymore. But at the same time, you have been waiting. It's like you're waiting for something and, and, and they take for, forever to come and you're and finally they come and you're like, look, I've been waiting for a long time. Where have you been? <laughs> this is the energy that I'm pulling you guys because you just felt like this, um, <clears throat> this energy. I'm just getting some kind of mad, being mad or upset. You have Scorpio here again scorpio is coming out very strong just like pisces scorpio is one two and three. Oh my god and four <laughs> so you are definitely showing up in your read here definitely showing up um there is a cycle I feel like there's a lesson to learn here. This is why the cycle is showing up, especially in the Wheel of Fortune. I'm also seeing the King of Wands here. There's a, a huge immaturity, someone that could be a manager that doesn't make the right decisions here, someone that is very difficult to be around or to work with. You're going to have a new opportunity coming through. You have the Two of Wands. So you're at your crossroads. You're at your crossroads. Things are about to change for you. This could be something about traveling or moving away into a new situation. But Scorpios, I'm seeing that you're moving on in the next 24. 
um, you really want to make that decision to move on but there is also unfinished business here so whatever this might mean for you it's like okay you're done with it it needs to be a new perspective for you to entertain this and continue to entertain this look at this even the eight of wands are on the back like you're choosing your cup within the next 24 and walking away from this <clears throat> Okay, tell me about Scorpio. A lot of you might be dealing with another Scorpio as well. Keep that in mind. Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. All right, so you have the High Priestess here, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. So for those of you who are dealing with another Scorpio, this person does regret walking away or letting you walk away here. Um, they did push you away spiritually and affected your, you know, the way you felt about the situation, the, the way you thought about the situation. Now it's like you don't trust it or you're asking too many questions about certain things. And like you're questioning this you're not really showing like you're into this anymore like you're willing to jump in and it's just like you're like really taking a step back because this person did damage or this 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 situation this vibration this this um foundation did damage you in a way where you're just not thinking how you used to think that this was for you anymore And for those of you, Scorpio, that did walk away, there's a regret that you are going to be feeling because you're indecisive. Even though you're walking away, I'm just seeing like you're looking back. The same thing with this energy. If you're not sure about something, Scorpio, because clearly you're not, you're still looking for some force of information, clarification, confirmation. And even with that, that might not even be enough for you, for those of you. Let me turn this around because I don't know why this might not be enough for you you might just want more you might just want more you guys so let's see all right so you have the knight of wands coming towards you and the six of wands so something is coming in. I feel like this person or this proposition, <laughs> I'm just getting like there is an opportunity that is coming to you really quickly, rushing in. But at the same time, you need to be careful because I'm seeing that you're going to be offered something that is going to be really good for you. And there's someone behind you like chasing you here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Like there's this chase and this is a cycle this is a wheel of fortune energy look at that wheel of fortune wheel of fortune in reverse it's like this is who this is who's coming in this cycle this is bad their energy is it's like this is bad luck here in reverse it's, it's like you're getting all this bad energy because of this person but you're on to the victory so you have to make a decision it's like this person is giving me like they're blocking your energy five of swords yeah they want to plead their case though they feel like they're sorry for the five of swords like the, the like they've been working behind your back you know you have the five of wands now you have the five of swords you have the five of pentacles I think there's a lot of low vibration energy here because in the past you felt like this situation did not give you what you needed to be okay within this world. Like you felt like you had to resolve these hardships by yourself. You felt like you had a lot of responsibilities that you had to deal with on your own. This is what I'm seeing here. Wow, interesting. 
Okay, so let's see what the message is. You know what I'm being called? My deck as well. If you guys want to purchase a copy of my deck, it will be in the description box. It is three day shipping, you guys. So keep in mind, everybody in the US, it is three day shipping. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we have here. All right, so we have the 10 here. What's the vibration, Holy Spirit? The seven. So yeah, you are being called spiritually. You are being called spiritually. What's this one? And someone here has a crush on you. Their feelings are getting stronger. This is a pink rose though, number seven. It says stronger personal feelings, gratitude, appreciation, grace, and happiness. It's crazy that they say in happiness because your sun is in reverse. But the next 24 hours, it's like you, whatever energy is around you right now, Scorps, you're not feeling very happy within this situation. You're feeling very like drained. This is what I'm getting here. You feel quite alone within this vibration, just like within the four. Like you just wait for whatever you get and that's not right. It's like you're putting out so much and you're not receiving anything back within this energy within the next 24 hours. I'm also seeing the angels want to remind you of what is upcoming for you. Your overcomings number 10. It says victory, fulfillment, recovery, healing, completing, and winning. And congratulations, you know, 10 vibration. This is a very hard vibration to get to. And I feel like by the end of it all, you're going to get to that vibration and really be thankful for everything that you have gone through. Because without everything to come into place for it to happen, you wouldn't be having this 10 and that is very interesting to say and then you have the number seven here the divine seeks you out know that you are very much loved you are definitely made the right way there is nothing that the divine would take away from you you are made perfectly perfect and that is something that you need to understand let me just zoom in a little bit more is this too too harsh yeah so it says here this number seven the divine seeks you out it says star child inner calling telepathic cosmically gifted messenger i just love this card you guys because you need to know the value of yourself and how beautiful you are and how important you are to the universe i mean star child or some people call them star seeds and it's like you know when you're a star seed when you feel like this earth is pretty boring and you want to go to another planet and you just think about the universe so much and what it might be on an uh, like like out there in, a, in another world and you just feel like gosh you need something to change like this earth is pretty repetitive like the same thing over and over again let's do something different let something you want something amazing to happen this is what i'm i'm getting here like you want something amazing to happen to this earth not even negative way in a positive way you know you're ready to go to the next vibration whatever that might be for you but this right here with the war and with the pettiness and people taking each other's lives and people fighting over this and fighting over materialistic things it's just so old for you you want something new you just you're not entertained you know what i mean <laughs> you're not entertained um so and you want something more and this is how you know when you're a star child or a star seed hello because you have lived so many lives and you want something more exciting you came on earth for the excitement because earth is on fire and earth has you know a lot of planets out there they're pretty much accomplished they're at peace you know we are the only not not we are the only this dimension is pretty much you know 
they consider earth to be very young in this time at this present this present that we have here this earth is pretty young but to us this earth been here billions of billions of years right because we keep finding things that goes all the way back that we're like damn that even pop pa pa oh my god can i speak pause it passes the bible's um recognition right like the bodies that they'd be finding like it's just like wow 10 thousands of like ten thousand years ago wow we don't have have that time you know like it's just it's so much so much that they're finding now so it's like you just really want to be somewhere else though within this energy i just got really deep with you guys sorry sorry um <laughs> but this is what i see every time i pull this deck i feel like it goes beyond the reading um but this is why it's made this is why i was called to make it make it because i couldn't i couldn't find a deck that was very spiritual right it was all about gossip and stuff and the holy spirit told me that i need to make this divine deck so and this is why it's called the divine you guys tell me more holy spirit so a lot of you are in a soul contract or a soul um relationship that you feel like you don't know what this is and this person it says two soul lies right i meant to put tie but it says lies and i feel like you know what the angels wanted to do something on their own because it also says here um partnership um partnership deep love fighting to stay together two soul face and separation so it does it definitely makes sense here um so the angels did what they needed to do with that um but I feel like within this card, you guys, this person can be acting like your soulmate or your twin flame, but that's not what they are. This is a soul that is meant to be in your life to show you something. There was an agreement between you and this soul to experience something. Um, of course, this is a lesson within this realm. So I feel like this person is following you around because the contract is just not completed because you do have the wheel of fortune twice over that is letting me know that this contract is not yet completed all right so 12 12 on the clock for those of you i'm also seeing number 13 so this is the death energy here and this is the death energy here so you have scorpio coming up a lot within this read scorpios you're very present it's a smile we'll see each other again this could be a person that you're separated from as well and you you're you're not ready you're not ready um you're very unhappy everybody sees it and the angels are just reminding you to smile it is not over quite yet all right for those of you who think it is because the noise is just so much wow listen to your heart you guys listen to your intuition this is coming up twice over within the moon number 18 listen to your intuition it's going to lead you to the right place if you feel like something is off like i said before most likely it is and looking at this you're so watched over because i'm just going to zoom in a little bit look at the beautiful stars within this energy omg the moon at your window number 18 and your ancestors are just watching over you and they're just wanting you to do things a little bit better than they did within this life there was some kind of dark magic that was used here it says 85 28 or someone was trying to use dark magic on you but either way it says forgive yourself here okay for this sin that you have done or this situation that you have caused on someone else it says spell work letting go so a lot of you might have said something that was very evil unto this person you might have wished death upon them um, or this was a very toxic vibration um, that you had a lot of work or hand in this situation so the angels are saying like let it go wash your hands and let's do better okay tell me more holy spirit tell me more wow capricorn anyone <laughs> Capricorn energy is coming up. We also have a huge ego. Someone is acting like a child, stamping their feet. This is very difficult. Toxic vibes, stubbornness, number 15. A lot of you, again, low vibration here. 
is going through a lot it's very hard to deal with this energy and i feel like within this cards it's like this person is really you know getting on your nerves mentally physically um triggering you as well like you don't know or you don't see clearly within this energy you don't see clearly within this energy whoever this this is for you you cannot you know if they have something going on and people are trying to tell you like this person is this and that you can't be a part of it because this person make you see a blind spot or something you know, you have to take yourself out of the equation because you can, even if, if you are a lawyer, you can't defend this person because you will always be thinking that you always see the goodness within this person and this person could be guilty as hell. Okay. So you are compromised when it comes to the truth with this person. You can't see straight. You can't see straight. Um, and that's what I'm getting with that. So you have to take a step back and ask someone else, what do they think about the situation? Someone that is not quite your friend, someone that doesn't know this person and doesn't have anything, you know, to do with the situation. And you have to get your, 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 your feedback that way. I'm seeing Gemini, Aquarius or Libra energy and fearless number nine so a lot of you your crown um chakra is also open uh scorpio i got this for you earlier too and it's crazy how we have this beautiful energy of you receiving messages from the divine god okay it says bold spirited spirit spirited and brave so just know that you guys are tapped into your spirituality just like within the hermit energy like i told you before like a lot of you are trying to be smarter wiser and distant in yourself in the next 24 hours to see what needs to be done it's like you're becoming who you are scorpios you are older energy is scorpios you are not born as scorpios for no specific reason don't believe what people say you scorpios are the oldest spirits i believe in heaven you know what i mean and i know i feel like I, I don't know i just feel like every time you're born you're born in like a scorpio energy i i that's that's what i feel i just feel like you take that role every time but yeah you are coming off very older and there's a reason why that is also coming off in this part of way because it's like you know something like you don't need certain information it's like you did you have all the research all you know the evidence that you need i don't know i just feel like you get this on a spiritual level like this look like um moses for me you know what i mean energy but when i think of the hermit so for those of you with this this is a little bit different art but with the with the fire what is called it the night lamp in his hand walking towards the hill or being on a hill that hermit energy that wisdom that moses energy when he went on the hill and divine told him everything that he needed to know um and that's where he wrote the testaments down right so i just feel like um this is it when you're getting that information you know it's like a spiritual energy here but the the divine wants you to know to be free to be happy to live your life and to be as the wind do things out of you know planning because you love to plan okay and sometimes you have to just get up and do it like the summer for me i'll be going to the beach broke or not i'll be going to the beach this summer i'll be at the beach probably every weekend at this point i don't care my ass will be out um so yeah and that's my plan for me because i have to definitely you know get my soul back where it needs to be and i have to feed my soul with with that beach weather <laughs> So my ass would be at the beach driving four hours because you know Atlanta doesn't have a beach. You have to go to like, I think North Carolina or what is it? Tell me in the description box. I know Savannah, um, but I think it's North Carolina, right? Four hours away. Each each way. It doesn't even matter if I go to, to Savannah. Still four hours, you guys. I'm telling you. That's how I miss New York because New York, you have beaches everywhere, baby. <laughs> but over here, period. You gotta drive, okay? Um, 
but this is what i'm seeing for you you guys i just hope that this is you know reach you at a place where you need it and yeah all the information for you scorpio will be in a description box don't forget to like your video show love here on the channel i'm not begging for likes but you know i do want my channel to be successful and i do want to continue giving out these videos to you scorpios but i realize that your videos are low um the likes are low and i need to know why so comment down below what videos you want me to push out do you like the no contacts do you like the 48s do you like the 24s um what kind of videos you are mostly interested in to see that you will watch on this channel um because it's coming to a point like i don't know i'm like really disconnected like i don't know what you guys wanted to see gemini's are pretty much you know like they will watch anything <laughs> so i don't have a problem with that but and it doesn't help me that this channel is in the gray you guys i am trying so hard but i need your help i really do i need your support i don't need you to just watch the video i need you to just like it like it comment down below as well show your love and support and yeah i know you guys can do it because you have this channel you know growing this far and you goes and you guys go on live as well and i'm not even in the green and you guys get the notifications that i'm live because the live be pretty lit okay it's not like it be 20 people in the live it'll be over 100 people sometimes even 200 people so i know that you know it could be more but i'm very grateful for what i have so um i know that you guys are getting that notification so don't forget to like your videos okay love ya and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys